Hi guys, welcome back to another studio vlog. Today is actually Wednesday. <laughs> I haven't been in here yet. What a surprise. My hair is a mess. This is how the weeks are being at the moment, honestly. So, little recap. So, at the moment I'm not working on Mondays in the office, so I took Monday off, and then yesterday I had therapy, which is going really well, that's now my third session uh, back now, um, and basically my time of the month came, and I was in so much pain yesterday that after I got home I took some ibuprofen and I just passed out till my alarm went off for me to go to work, so yeah. Yesterday was a bit of a write-off. Well, yesterday afternoon was because I didn't work during the day. I got home really inspired last night and I ended up drawing. But I have a problem. See, I have this thing that is the Kevin calendar and basically it's still not finished. And I still need to draw, I think it's like four or something like that. And I just started to get burnt out with it and I've just stopped. So, yeah, instead of doing that, which is what I should be doing, no, I ended up designing a brand new sticker sheet. And honestly, I've fallen in love with this sticker sheet and I really want to make more of these. So, <laughs> I'm actually going to spend the day drawing. I'm currently inspired, so I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to finish off this sticker sheet. So this is what it looks like finished. I'm about two thirds of the way done at the moment. Um, and basically, I just want to get that done and maybe the sketch of the next one done. Because I'm thinking these might be slightly before November. I don't know. Because this is kind of autumn-y and I don't know if November is a bit too late for it. So I don't know. I'm going to ponder about it once I've drawn them. Um, and I'm going to see if I can like grab on to that spark and do one more calendar drawing today. What I would love to do is get all the sketches done. Because that's what's holding me back is that I don't have the sketches done yet of these last four. So... The easy bit, which is the outline and the colouring in, is all like, yeah, that I don't mind doing at all. But, because I haven't got the sketches done, and the sketches take me a while to kind of get the idea from here to iPad. So, uh, that's what's stressing me out. Um, I've been putting it off now, and I don't like putting things off, but I really am procrastinating finishing this calendar. And the thing is, is I've designed the interior, um, I just need to do the dates of it, which is going to be really easy. Um, time consuming, but easy, because of how I've prepared the template this time compared to last time. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I've given you a little bit of a rundown what my day has been so far, but I love this sticker sheet and I really want to get them done and I've got so many ideas for sticker sheets now I think that's my new thing is sticker sheets that's my neighbours leaving it's a lot of noise um so yeah today is Wednesday so we've still got time tomorrow hopefully if I get a couple more things drawn which I hope so uh we're gonna test print finally just to see kind of how it looks, see if there's anything I want to change. Um, I've basically designed February's because it was my favourite one and that's kind of what I'm going to use for social media to kind of announce it, which we will be announcing next week, um, the calendar, um, which I'm announcing before I'm buying the materials. So I'm going to be purchasing next week when I uh, get my wages, the sticker sheet, sticker paper. The glossy sticker paper, the matte sticker paper, and the glossy paper for the calendars and the stapler. So I'm going to be purchasing all of that next week when I've received my, my wages. Um, so yeah, this week is all a bit... I don't know, this week kind of... I lost it a bit this week. Uh, I'm struggling with pain this week, so it's just kind of doing what I can. But it's so annoying because I was starting to do 
a new routine last week with the planning and getting things done and being really productive and spending time in here but this week it just kind of got away from me and I know it's only Wednesday but um tomorrow is the last day of the vlog because I editing on Friday did such a difference to my weekend and uploading it earlier on Sunday did such a difference to the views it's absolutely crazy like it's doubled the views <laughs> of my vlog so I don't know if it was the title I did of the video if it was uh the time I uploaded but I'm not gonna not upload early on Sundays now because it just proved to work um <clears throat> Um, honestly, I'm falling behind this week. I really am. Uh, we're a month away from the launch and honestly, there's still a lot to do. There's still really a lot to do and I've kind of been putting a lot of it off now. So I think I just really need to go and finish these drawings. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be much from me today, but hopefully tomorrow I'll be in here and we can test print some stuff and get some things finished. Um, at least design part finished um, so we can move on because we still have I don't have my bullet journal in here Jesus my hair is a mess give me a second okay hair's better now so I don't have my notebook with me in here it's in the uh, living room with my iPad because I took it with me to the restaurant last night to sketch out the ideas uh, supposedly it was to sketch out the ideas for the calendars but it ended up sketching out ideas for new sticker sheets <laughs> So, um, kind of where I'm at at the moment is for November 1st, which is our anniversary here on YouTube. No, not here on YouTube, of the shop. Our anniversary on YouTube was this month. This month has just gone. It was the beginning of September and I completely forgot about it until after. because There's a lot going on. Anyway, so 1st of November is the anniversary of uh, the shop launch. So for me... That's a big thing. It's been a year. It's going to be a full on year that we've been on this journey together. And so that's going to be the launch date of the calendars. Now, um, we have calendars, we have mystery bags, we have mystery boxes, we have functional stickers, we have uh, illustrated sticker sheets um, and we have stock made now at the moment that is all going to be launching on different dates so i don't know when the stickers will be launched yet because of this now new idea i've just gotten but it might be very soon if i can purchase the sticker paper so first of november is when the calendars will launch both calendars will be launched on the 1st of November with hopefully an extra freebie in um, one in Kevin's calendar. There's going to be an extra freebie. There's going to be a sticker sheet. There might be one for the other one as well. I just haven't thought of it. <laughs> but basically there's going to be a little sticker sheet that's with some like important dates and little Kevin's on them. So I was thinking that uh, you could stick them on like Christmas and Halloween and things like that valentine's day so i was thinking of doing like a mini sticker sheet for that to be like a little bonus for a uh, celebration of one year um and the launch of the new calendars there's also the mystery boxes and the mystery bags that will be sold later on in the month of november i still don't know the date yet but some of you might guess when it's for <laughs> i can't remember if i've mentioned it or not but if I have, you'll probably know. And if you're part of my community, you'll probably know as well something that's coming up this November uh, that we did last year as well. <laughs> that's me giving it all away. Um, so that will be launching later on in November. So I'm thinking these stickers because I'm doing these now illustrative stickers. I have the other colour stickers and I have the tab stickers. And um, we also do have a lot of prep of... Uh, the die cut stickers I'm thinking of maybe releasing them halfway through October but that depends if I can get them done if I can get the paper here in time and if everything goes smoothly at the restaurant and things start actually calming down uh, as they should be but they're not <laughs> I shouldn't be complaining it's good there's money coming in at the same time I'm tired and I want to be in the office it's just my winter mood is already here I have talked for 10 minutes 
editing Kelly is going to hate the crap out of me right now, but I am going to go draw. You, you're gonna go draw, okay? I'm gonna go draw. We're gonna see if we can finish these drawings. I'd like to get two drawings of the calendars done today, whether I do them both now or if I do one now and I do one when I get home, I don't know, but I need some sketches done. We need to start moving forward if we're gonna be start launching products very, very soon. And we're gonna actually have to crack down and actually plan this stuff. Uh, I am beating myself up a little bit for taking it so slow with the prep of this, but I was so scared uh, to overdo myself again. <laughs> but I can't, now is my chance and now is a chance that we can launch some gorgeous products and hopefully sell some gorgeous products and get some stuff done and be productive. Um, I know that I will want to make some notepads in preparation for uh, the mystery boxes. So I can't decide whether I'm doing two or three mystery things. So I thought of a mystery box, which is a notebook, notepad, mini notepad, um, and a die cut sticker or a sticker sheet. Can't, I can't decide yet, but... I don't know if that's too much stuff. I'm going to have to sit down, crack down some prices and get a ballpark of uh, figure. I want to get two of what costs for me and ballpark figure of what I want to sell them at. But that's what I'm thinking for the bigger one, for the box. We also need to create some packaging for the mysteries, which uh, for the bigger ones is going to be kind of special wrapping paper like I've done with the moon and stars when I did the... Um, space bundle and I did end up using that for a lot of other products as well because I did love it um we're going to be making something similar that's specifically for the mystery boxes and I have an idea in my head I just don't know if it's going to work out in terms of pattern but we will see about that um and then for the mystery bags I have so I have these paper bags and these are plain white paper bags um, and you see, these were the other two sizes I was thinking. I was thinking a mini, uh, mini mystery sticker pack with my mini stickers and a couple of big stickers. Then this one being the other one, which you get a mini notepad, um, a sticker sheet and a couple of die cut stickers. But you see, these are very plain. I wanted to jazz them up, but I didn't want to waste sticker paper and I have to do stickers. So, uh, what I might test tomorrow if I'm in here testing things is I might test printing on these. So I know my printer does print on envelopes and I've seen people do this before. I think I remember Bia from A Pen as Illustrator doing this with her Patreon boxes that she put these kind of things through her printer to put the design on. And I think that would be so cool if I could do it with the same design that's gonna be the wrapping paper of the big one. So I'm thinking this one probably is gonna be about five euros, maybe, not exactly sure yet, or it might be cheaper um i still need to figure it out and then the bigger one i'm thinking it's going to be around seven and then we're going to have the big box which is going to be around 20 uh but you're going to get a lot of products you just don't know which ones but you know my products and that there's not that many so you might possibly get the one you want okay i've been talking for 13 minutes i'm gonna go draw i've said that already <sighs> So when I last left you, um, I hadn't done any drawing yet. I was just going to have lunch. I couldn't stop talking for some odd reason, but it's now four o'clock and I'm going to work in like in half an hour. Um, but I finished all the sketches. So I wanted to show you 
let me just move this about slightly here are all of the sketches done so this is the sticker sheet I was talking about earlier you probably have already seen that but we're not concentrating on that now but we have all of them kind of done so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's done. So we have January, February, March, which is just a sketch. April is over here. I love this one so far. April. May, uh, June, um, July, this one's July, August, September, October, uh, oops, this one is November and December, the new version. So I am very happy with them. It did take me ages to get the sketches kind of sorted, like I've been doing this for a while now, but I should have some kind of video of me doing this that you should have probably seen before this hopefully um but this means we've got a good standpoint for me when I get home to chill and just draw and things like that and hopefully I can actually get this done this week that would be nice that would be nice but tomorrow we're going to be in the office so I might be doing this tomorrow afternoon but I'm going to leave you guys here for today because I have half an hour till I go to work and I wanted to chill just a little bit before going to work today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay so hi it's um Thursday. <laughs> I've already started the day a bit all over the place already. I don't know what today is already doing, but I wanted to test print the calendar just to have a look at the colours. So this doesn't have all of the months. As you can see, we've got this design repeated a lot. So that's the filler design while the other ones are still being printed. But I just wanted to have a look at the colours. I really love October so far. Uh, January needs some changing about. So, uh, January, I need to make the illustration smaller on the background. Um, so, let me see. So, as you can see, it's quite small and there's being cut off and it's being cut off down here. So, uh, I definitely need to make that one smaller. But that is probably all okay other than that one i'm just kind of like having a proper look through so we have january february march april may june and all that kind of stuff so i really like some of these colors happy with the blues now, I want to print um, a full one of, should we do like February, just to have a proper look. Shall I try and do it in glossy, just so we can see kind of really what it looks like? Ew, where would my glossy paper be? Where do I keep my glossy paper? Is it in here? So what I was planning um, was everything to be released on November 1st, except the mystery bags and mystery boxes. Um, but it's going to be really half the stuff is going to be released before. So I think we're going to keep for November just 
the calendars. We're going to make November 1st the calendar launch where we're going to release both calendars and it's going to concentrate on the calendars and we're going to give super high focus on social media and all that kind of stuff with the calendars. But in October, we will be releasing all the coloured sticker sheets that we have been doing. So these and the tab ones, which are somewhere else. I think they're over there or something. I'm a little lost. I really need to organise this office before we do launch. Um, so we're going to be releasing those sticker sheets, the tab sticker sheets, and we're going to be releasing this one. Let me show you. So I have made an autumn sticker sheet. Um, I've been feeling the autumn vibes lately and I got inspired on Pinterest and There we go. It's the final look and I love it. I love it. I probably talked a lot about this actually yesterday. I've only just remembered that you've probably already heard this. Um, but I have one glossy sticker sheet left from last week. Um, and I probably don't want, don't want to use it for anyone other than myself because it's a bit crinkled. Um, so I was thinking we could test this one. Why not? So I, I'm just, I'm so excited. I love how it turned out. I love how it looks. And I really want to see it as a sticker sheet. So we're going to look at what just finished printing. This should be sending to the laptop. Which it didn't. So I'm going to send it again. Um, and we're going to test it see how we feel about it but let's go have a look at let's have a look at a test of the calendar so i haven't looked at it i'm looking at you guys i'm looking at you guys okay okay i need to i need to properly see oh wow okay i was thinking i was going to need to add more to this i was thinking the around here it was neat and around here was going to need some more but i actually think it's perfect i like the colors so something is worth mentioning that the colors of kevin's chaotic calendar so all of these colours here are the colours of the original Sassy Planner. So this is my dedication to the Sassy Planner since it is what I started my business with and what made me start this whole journey. Um, so to give a little nod to that, I got out the swatches of the Sassy Planner and used them in the Kevin's Planner. I did swap around two colours. I swapped April and January because April, the drawing is April showers uh, and it's going to be kind of dark, coloured, rainy vibes. Um, so bright yellow, not necessarily to go with rain. So I've kind of swapped them over, but the colours are still the same and that makes me really happy that the Sassy Planner is still kind of represented and it will probably be the same on Kelly's creations calendar which I think is what we're going to be calling it for now because I still haven't figured out a name maybe just Kelly's calendar so we've got Kevin's calendar and we've got Kelly's calendar that is a tongue twister Kevin's calendar and Kelly's calendar they're both KC which is Kelly's creations oh okay you know I love a good bit of alliteration is it alliteration okay I'm just looking at these properly but I love it. Love, love, love how it's looking. The colours look so vibrant. The background looks amazing. Loving the font. Loving the simplicity. So I hope you guys love this as much as I do. Because this is taking me... How long is it? have we been drawing this? 
how long have we been planning this calendar? Probably over, a, well, the plan was for a very long time, but I think I've been nearly two months drawing these. Okay, so I really love how they turned out. Had a moment with the printer and stuff, but all is okay. Um, look how cute. I love it. I love it. I love the quantity of stickers you're getting. I love the quality of the stickers. I think they look amazing. I am so chuffed with these and I can't wait to use them and let's just have, should we do a peel test? Let's do a peel test. Love it. 
Oh, it look, it's, it cut really well. I do need to buy a new blade though soon. I think really happy with how these turned out. And now I know that it doesn't take me that long to make these. As in literally from sketch to uh, printed product. It probably was about two hours probably so that's really good to know which means um if i'm inspired we can get lovely cute sticker sheets so by the way we've got mushroom this is a cinnamon roll a pumpkin spice latte um an autumn candle some s'mores a polaroid camera a uh, pumpkin pie um caramel apple load of books with some glasses and a cup of tea uh, and we've got some pumpkins and a little bit of foliage as well but I'm really happy with how this sticker sheet turned out. I hope you really like these because they should be releasing in October some sort of time if we can get everything going. But that's kind of it for today in here. I've got a lot of stuff to do, but it's not interesting stuff for you guys to be watching, honestly. It's a lot of uh, putting numbers in these little dots. <laughs> so and um, I haven't eaten yet, so I need to go eat um i'm gonna eat something and i'm gonna mess around with some dates probably um i'm gonna put some kind of tv program on because i've just finished what i was watching so i'm a little lost now with what to watch but i'll figure something out even if i'm just gonna watch some youtube videos so i'm gonna continue on finalizing these but we've made real progress we've gotten to this point this one other than putting the dates on this is finished this is this this is how it's gonna look slightly thinner paper it's not gonna be this thick which is gonna be nicer to hang on your wall um still so happy so happy so i really want to get these done so i really want to next week show you guys this but with all of them finished with all of the dates done and maybe even a full test print i was hoping it was going to happen this week but it didn't um this week kind of got away from me honestly and i've just keep thinking i just hope it's like i want saturday i want a day off <laughs> um work has been constant it's the only way i can kind of explain it it's been a constant lots of hours i'm still doing uh seven hours at the restaurant every night six days a week um and but uh, i don't know it's, it's coming to the end um like i've got one month left now of the restaurant uh for a five month break which is going to be lovely but it feels like in it, it's not coming yet it's like it's taking too long to get here um and yes i am very impatient but at the moment my life is just like at a waiting point where i'm waiting for the restaurant to close i'm waiting for things to happen i'm waiting and it's like i've just got to get through this bit through the next two weeks and then things should start rolling we've got such exciting things happening this winter and that's why these last couple of weeks have felt so stagnant to me because everything else is about to happen but just not yet so um one of the things excuse you one of the things that will be happening uh before i go back to work uh next year is there's going to be some traveling involved and that's all i'm going to talk about but i will bring you guys along with me uh is we're going to be going on an adventure together um which will be fun i did used to film uh, travel vlogs for an old personal channel of mine when I was a, a teenager and I used to love filming travel vlogs whenever I used to go anywhere so I hope you do like travel vlogs it's still going to be small business related I'll let you know that but that's all I'm gonna say because it's still a long way away and something might happen <laughs> you never know something might happen but we also have exciting things happening before then we have some exciting things happening for the anniversary of the shop we have some exciting things happening halfway through november which if you're a part of this community you probably know what's coming up actually i think it got announced this week um eHeart's market 
um so if you guys remember when i first started um this shop and this journey one of the big things that we did together and one of the first big things was an eHearts market um was last year's november market and of course i am taking part again um i did love the one in may was it may yeah may um but it was different and i was in a very completely different headspace then than i was than i am now and i am very very excited and i have absolutely zero expectations this time and i just want to have fun um this time i'm off from work so that's the problem with the one in may because i'm at the restaurant it's I can't completely take as much part in it as I'd love to and then I start feeling left out uh, but this November one I've got the restaurant it's gonna be completely 100% eHearts market we're going all out and uh, we're gonna have some fun I think we might play some games on a live I want to see if we can have some fun on some lives and play some games um, just don't know what and how or how it's going to work but we will see that's something that i need to write down but i'm just kind of want to get the stuff done that i want to launch for then and then we can concentrate on making this eHearts market the best one yet i know you guys are amazing in emily's community and i know she wants to make this one the best one yet as well and i am excited i'm excited to be back a year on with all the experience I've gained um even just since the previous one I have learnt a lot um and I think we're finally getting somewhere with this and we've got a journey ahead of us and I'm very very excited for the next couple of months but I've chatted you guys' arms and legs off by now and uh as always editing me tomorrow is going to hate my guts but i'll give her a cookie and she'll feel better <laughs> she will because she's about to go eat one now and yeah so i'd like to thank you guys for watching this week has been a lot of drawing uh a lot of drawing a lot of designing a lot of computer work but i hope you enjoyed what you did see and hopefully soon we'll be getting on to some more exciting content because i know this month has been a bit weird on content for you guys but god oh, there's so much exciting stuff to happen but half of it i can't tell you about and i'm just so excited to go on this journey with you guys and grow together and experience things together um and i'm so excited to be in here full time and making this a proper thing and Hey, I hope you guys don't aren't fed up of me yet because you're just gonna you're gonna see more of me from now on. Well, not from now on, at least next month. Next month you're gonna be like, oh goodness sake, can she take a break, please? She's annoying me. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I need to go. I need to go do the dates on all of these calendars so they're done. Um, and I'm gonna see if I'm on a roll, I'm gonna design the other one. But I am screen recording everything I'm doing. Um, so anything you guys, um, you will be seeing it. If not, you've already seen it. Um, I don't know where I put these things in these vlogs <laughs> until I edit them. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to go. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And how do we feel about the earlier upload? I kind of love it. Kind of love being able to still be online while you guys are watching and seeing like the first kind of vibes coming off of uh, the vlog. But this time I need to put an alarm on so I can remember to uh, <laughs> post on Instagram story because I was having a nap. <laughs> um, I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe because, you know, we're on a journey here together and we've, we've got places to go, right? <laughs> How about we comment down below any ideas you would like for some more decorative sticker sheets that, of course, these will be available in glossy and in matte. I just don't have matte paper right now, but we will be getting all to that very soon and my wages will be dropping in soon, so we're going to be able to buy some paper and I've nearly ended this vlog three times now. So, okay, if you have any ideas for some cute illustrative um, sticker sheets, comment down below. 
I would love to hear your suggestions. I really want to do a Halloween one. I really want to do um, maybe a Christmassy one, but possibly not traditional Christmassy, but maybe festive. And I want to do one about food on the holidays as well. I want to do one about food because I actually have a lot of drawings of food that I did from the kids' menu at the restaurant. So I might... I might do a food one soon. Like cakes. I like drawing cakes. <laughs> I also like eating cakes. And I think most of us do as well. Um, I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. Thank you for putting up with me. Bye. <laughs>